Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. Here on my YouTube channel, I post a variety of different budgeting related videos and in the month of December, I am doing Vlogmas. So there is a new budgeting video out every single day. So if that is content that sounds like something that you may be interested in, I would love it if you would subscribe. So unfortunately, two nights in a row, you guys are seeing a bit of a later video. Um, I have no excuse for this one, just like yesterday. Um, I was off today, like today is Thursday, December 21st. Uh, I wasn't working, so I genuinely could have filmed this video all day, and yet it is not being filmed until 7.30 at night. So hopefully, again, this goes out sometime on the 21st. Probably, like I want to say, like probably around like 9.30, 10 o'clock, 11, I don't know. It should go up on the 21st. But today, what I'm going to do is my weekly spending check-in for the 15th to the 21st. So it's a very live video. <laughs> Um, I do these weekly spending check-in videos or what I spend in a week every single week just to try to keep myself as on top of my spending as I can. Um, I'm not a cash budgeter. I use my debit card for everything. So I try to make sure to film these sorts of videos on a weekly basis to make sure I know what I'm spending. So basically my plan is to do this video today. I'll set up my paycheck for January. Like, um, I'll set up January paycheck number one tomorrow. Um, because that's a video that would essentially be going out during my break of Vlogmas. There'll be a goals video and I'll close out for my Christmas budget and that's going to be it. So I really only have a few days left of Vlogmas and I don't know why I'm struggling so much <laughs> because I only have a few more days and then I can say I did Vlogmas two years in a row, but yeah, it's just, it's been a struggle the last couple days. So let's move over to the next page and I'll walk you through my transactions for the week. So the first transaction that I had was actually not until the 18th. So if you guys remember, I was away from like Thursday through Sunday. So I didn't have any transactions or any purchases on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. On Sunday though, actually I think this might be Monday, but I think it was supposed to be on Sunday, but it doesn't really matter. On Sunday in the miscellaneous category, um, I went at Costco, I spent $43 on some more of that protein milk that I was talking to you about. It is honestly so good to have like one of those protein milks and a shot of espresso and it's just delicious. I don't have like an espresso machine or anything, so I just make instant espresso. You could go to like Starbucks or Tim Hortons or whatever and get espresso if you don't have an espresso machine. But honestly, like I don't necessarily know if it's any better. I might end up going tomorrow to Starbucks and getting myself a shot of espresso on ice and then adding a protein milk to it. But I also might sort of treat that as like a treat because honestly, having the instant espresso at home tastes perfectly fine and it's very tasty. So I got another case of that. Honestly, I'm kicking myself that I didn't buy two more cases because I should have bought one more case of chocolate and one more case of vanilla. I just bought one more case of vanilla. So right now I have two cases of chocolate or two cases of vanilla and only one case of chocolate. So ultimately, if someone happens to to go to Starbucks or not to Starbucks to Costco and seize the protein milk and they offer to buy it for me I will take them up on that especially if it's chocolate so $43 on the Fairlife protein milk and again I did classify that as a miscellaneous expense because it doesn't work into my grocery budget for the week so that's what I did there the next transaction that I had was on the 18th. Yeah, so this was definitely on the 17th. I wrote that down wrong, but that's okay. This was an e-transfer, which is why, like it wasn't actually like a statement on my debit card. So that's why it's a little bit off. Um, I just e-transferred my friend who bought me some more. So anyways, but on the 18th in the miscellaneous category, I did go to Rexhall and I spent $4.58. I was at Rexhall to get my flu shot and my next COVID shot. And you can get that at the same time, which I was very surprised at. So I did that. And while I was there, you had to wait 10 minutes after the shot just because the uh, pharmacist wanted me to stick around I guess so while I was there I was wandering around the store and they had like SE nail polish like the expensive stuff that's like 15 or 16.99 a bottle and they had certain colors that were on sale and they had a really really pretty pink color I'm looking around on my desk to see if I have it on my desk but I might have honestly already put it back into like where I keep all my nail polish so anyways that's where it is um and it was only 4.58 so I got that 
Then on the 18th as well, in the groceries category, I did go to the Asian grocery store um, nearby me and I spent $17.47 on dumplings. Um, the dumplings that I want, it's a crazy story. So when I first bought these dumplings, this is probably back in like November or October. I could go back and see like when I essentially bought them, but it was around that time. They were $5.50 like per bag. Then like, or they were $5.49 per bag. Then they went up in price and they became six, um, six twenty nine per bag, I believe is how much they went up in price for. So like, that's not a big deal. And then more recently, they are now seven forty nine per bag. And that's in the span of like, I like one or two months, like they went up in price, like a lot in that time. They're really good though. And I tried a different brand. So I got one of the bags of like the 749 ones. And then I got one other bag that was like 999. And the 999 bag had more in them. So I was like, Oh, I'm sure that these are fine. They were not fine. They were not very good. So I've got them, I will eat them. They're not that bad. It's just like, I'm disappointed that the ones that I like fell in love with became like as expensive as they did. Cause like going from 550 to 750, like that's a pretty big price jump, especially given that like inflation isn't that bad right now, you know, like it's been bad, but like over the past two months, like, I don't know. But anyways, 1747 there. The next transaction that I had was on the 19th. This is in a dining out category. I did get sushi and that was $7.99. And then also on the dining in on the 19th in the dining out category, I did go to Tim Hortons and I spent $3.76. This was on a extra large steep tea with two milk and two Splenda and also a chocolate dipped donut in case you're curious. <laughs> so yeah, that was it on the 19th. Then on the 20th, um, in the dining out category, I did go to McDonald's and I got myself a Happy Meal and that was $6.09. So that was just like a chicken McNugget Happy Meal with fries. So $6.09. The next transaction that I had was on the 21st. This was in the miscellaneous category. I did get a prescription filled and that was $3. Um, I have very good health benefits through my job. So when I get a prescription filled, it covers 100% of the cost of the drug. I just have to pay $3 as like, it's kind of like a copay for the um the the pharmacy transaction fill fee I guess it is I, I'm not fully sure but basically I have a rash and I needed a uh, cream for it I didn't know it exactly what it was but my mom had I had seen my mom on the weekend and she was like you should go to the doctor but my doctor is unfortunately retired so I have to find a new family doctor um so I just went to a walk-in and they were like oh here's a prescription and it's like a steroid and an antifungal I don't think it's a fungus I mean it might be but basically the doctor at the walk-in just said to like take this prescription use it for three weeks if it hasn't gone away after three weeks then I can come back and get a referral to a dermatologist but unfortunately like I live in Ontario like I live in Canada so um like I mean it's a good thing I take that back I, I take back the unfortunately but in Ontario where I live <laughs> in Canada um healthcare is like it's government funded right so if you want to see a dermatologist you can't just go and see a dermatologist you have to get a referral to a dermatologist and you honestly wait like a very long time to see one so it would be like one or two months so will I still have that rash in one or two months I mean hopefully not but we'll see so that was three dollars and then surprisingly today, I didn't expect this, but if you guys remember, like I have another prescription that I got on like an online service and that actually renewed today. So I'm going to get that shipped to me tomorrow. Uh, so that was another $3. So I haven't gotten that prescription yet, but it's being shipped to my house tomorrow. So $3 for that. Um, then on the, again, on the 21st, this is all transactions that I made today because I'm filming this on the 21st. Um, I did get groceries at Loblaws for $3.99. This was just a bag of frozen blueberries. And then on the 21st as well at Farm Boy, um, I did get some deli meat, which was $9.06. This was for 300 grams. So like, as I said, Farm Boy is actually a pretty decent place to get deli meat if you're located in Canada. Their regular prices are close to like the sale prices at Metro. So I got 300 grams of sliced turkey for 906. For reference, that's about two thirds of a pound for anybody located in the United States. So there's 454 grams per pound and this was for 300 grams. So approximately two thirds of a pound and that was 906. So again, pretty expensive, but that's 
the price of deli meat in Canada. Um, and then finally, on the 21st, in the groceries category, I did go to Freshco, and that was $10.97. This was on yogurt and iceberg lettuce and a loaf of bread, and that was $10.97. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it for this week. So, this actually wasn't too bad. So, let's flip back over to the other page, and I'll go over my totals. My calculator or slash phone is 100% dying, so I have to charge that for sure tonight if I don't, if I want to film another video with it tomorrow and I also like wrote down all of these transactions with like my sharpie s gel pen and I can't see it anywhere so I don't know where I put it in the like two seconds that it took me to like put my phone on like the camera stand but I have to use a different pen and it's fine it's just whatever in total in the groceries category for the week I spent $41 and 49 cents. So at the end of last week, I had 119.27. I spent 41.49, leaving me with 77.75 in groceries, which is awesome. This last week, the 22nd to the 28th, I'm going back to my parents' house on the 23rd or 24th. And then I think I'm coming back to my apartment on the 28th. So I don't think I'll be spending a ton of money on groceries, but we'll have to see. I'll probably end up getting groceries on Friday, um, like tomorrow, potentially on Saturday. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. But $77.75 is, should be more than enough for the last week of the month. Um, dining out in total this week, I actually only spent $17.84, which is great. At the end of last week, I had $145.35. I spent $17.84, leaving me with $127.53. I'm super happy to have that much money going into the last week. We don't often go out like around Christmas, but like if I end up going out for breakfast with my parents or something, like I like that I'm going to be able to treat with that because I have more than enough money to do that. So that's awesome. Um, gas, I didn't spend anything this week, so that's still at zero. So I, again, I had $71 left at the end of last week, so I still have $71 in gas. And then finally in miscellaneous, I actually only ended up spending $53.58. So again, that was the two prescriptions, the um, nail polish from Rexall and the Fairlife, the protein milk. So as you guys can see, if I had added that $43 to groceries, I would have gone way over. So um, at the end of last week, I had 206.51 left over in miscellaneous. I spent 53.58, leaving me with $152.93. And this is truthfully the only category that I'm a little bit worried that I might go over in. I may not, I'm not sure. Basically, of this 152, I'm going to be spending $82 to get my nails done on Saturday, and that only leaves me with like 70-ish dollars. Um, as of right now, I'm not planning on going Boxing Day shopping, but if I happen to go Boxing Day shopping, like I don't think that $70 is necessarily going to be enough, but hopefully with like all my other categories, it all works out. So yeah. Anyways, if you add all of these categories up, it's a total spend for the week of $112.91, which is far lower than like my actual typical, like what I budget for to spend in a week. Um, I give myself $60 in both groceries and dining out. Then I give $40 in gas and then $100 in miscellaneous. So like I'm well below that. Like I'm almost $150 less than my weekly spend, which is awesome. Um, at the end of last week, I had $542.12 left. And because I spent the $112.91, it means I have, that number is incorrect. I think I did 97, so I'm six cents off. So I have $429.21 left over for this last week of the month. And again, even if I end up going a little bit over in miscellaneous, I'm sure that $400 is going to be fine. And hopefully I have even more than that left over because Christmas is not looking super good right now, but that's okay. You guys will see that probably on Sunday or maybe on Monday, but yeah. Anyways, that is it for today. Thank you again, you guys, so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Amelia, and this is Amelia Budgets. I apologize for the late video, but you're still getting a video, so that's good. <laughs> um, as I mentioned, my next video should be up tomorrow, and that will be my January paycheck number one budget setup, because that video, again, would have normally been posted on, like, December the 29th, but I'm not going to be filming that whole week um, after Christmas. So, yeah, have an amazing day, everybody, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.